Hey friends, how are you? I hope you're having a great day today. Today we are going to be creating a pirate ship. So let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is make some water. And we're going to go about, let's say, mm, three quarters of the way down your paper. And I'm going to show you how to make a wave. Uh, there are different types of waves that you can make, but this one is really a fun curly Q type wave. So I take my marker and I just make a spiral. Then I go back up to the very top of my spiral and I come down like this with a curved line. Now this does take some practice. It really does. So if you don't get it right the first time, that's okay, keep trying. Then I come up and I do the same thing. I make a swirl. I go up to the top of my swirl and I make a curved line. Do you see how the waves are coming together now? And I do the same thing all the way across my paper. And if I get going a little bit too fast for you, you can just pause the video until you catch up. So I just do the same shape over and over again. And this creates a really cool type of a wave. What do you think? I really like it. All right, so now that we've made our waves, we're going to make our actual ship, our pirate ship. So the first thing you're going to do is decide how large you would like your ship. I think what I'm going to do is maybe put a dot here and a dot here, and that'll kind of be about the size that I make my ship. So I'm going to start at my dot and I'm going to come down and I'm going to come into the wave. So it looks like part of the ship is underneath the wave. I stop at the wave and I don't go any further because I want it to look like the water is coming up over the ship. And I do the same thing on this side. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come in just a little on each side. And my lines are just slightly curved, just slightly. Now I'm going to come down a little tiny bit and I'm going to come down on this side as well. Then I'm going to connect these two lines just like that. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over this line again. So I'll start here and I'll just go over it one more time and it doesn't have to be perfect. Just follow along that initial line as well as you can. Just gives it a little bit more depth. All right, so this is the main part of our ship. We're going to put some um, windows in our ship. So those are some circles. You can put as few circles in as you'd like or as many. Or you could put no circles or windows at all. This is where the people look out. So I have one, two, three, four windows on my ship and I am going to put a smaller circle on the inside of each of my circles. Oh, I like how it's coming together. Okay, now I want my ship to look like it's made out of wood. So I'm going to make some lines and the lines aren't going to be perfectly straight. They're going to be a little bit curved because as you know, wood comes from trees. So it's not exactly perfect. That's what makes it so wonderful actually. Just like that. Now we're gonna go up above the ship and we're going to put some sails. So the sails will blow in the wind and then it will help to move the ship. So I'm going to create four sails. I'm going to create two small ones on the top and then two larger ones on the bottom. Let me show you how I do that. And at first, the sails are not going to be connected to the ship. We'll do that last. So let me show you. You make sure you go straight up from the ship. We don't wanna make it way over here on this side because then it won't be able to connect to the ship very easily. So you're going to make a curve line, curve line, curve line, and curve line, okay? And then another one. Curve line, curve line, curve line. 
and curved line. So those are our two smaller sails, and then we are going to make some larger ones. Curved line, curved line, curved line, curved line. And then I'm going to make one more right here. Alrighty, those are our sails. They're not connected to the ship yet. So let's connect them to the ship. So to connect them to the ship, we need to have some lines coming out of the top. Now with your finger, bring it down so we can see approximately where it would go if it's going, if, it's, if the sail is attached to the, the lines, you need to make sure that you skip the sail, skip the sail again and come straight down. See that? See how that works? Let's do the same on this other side. Come down, come down again. Just like that. Now, you can decorate the sails if you'd like. You can put maybe mm, a skull and crossbones. I can put one on here, it's a little bit bigger. Let me show you how to do that. So we have an upside down C, and then we put straight line, straight line, and then close up. And we're going to put some lines. And this is a kind of a small area, so it's not going to be that big. Some eyes, a nose, and some crossbones coming out the top. Let me show you how to make a crossbone. I made three on this one. Okay, let me show you how to do this. So we have two straight lines coming out, and then you make the number three, just like that, okay? On this one, I made more of like a flowery look, but that's okay. I kind of like it when things are a little bit different. Okay, so now what you can do is you can decorate the areas around your ship or give your ship a little bit more detail if you'd like. You can put some fish in the ocean. And the way that I make fish is I put a straight line and then a curved line and come down. And if you'd like to put a sun or maybe a moon, a moon is basically a sea followed by another C. And if you'd like to put some stars, it's up to you. Alrighty, have fun. Bye.